Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. We just hit 26.7k subscribers. Can we get to 27k? Please like this video down below and subscribe before we get started. But today we're going to be doing a demographic prediction, the 2020 election prediction based on demographics in the 538 swingometer. And we are going to take this to the next level in terms of just data. And now I'm not going to be predicting which way states are going to go. However, I am going to be putting the data of demographics into the system that I predict will happen. And we are going to take that and it's going to predict the election for us. So first of all, we'll start with the third party vote here down below. I think that 5% of America is going to be voting third party. This will be slightly down from last time when 6% of America voted third party. So we're going to start with the non-college educated whites. And by the way, I have programmed the demographic to fit the estimated demographic. So turnout level that you see here is not really reflective of what's going to happen. However, I did use it to make the demographics for the upcoming election as accurate as possible. And by the way, these demographics might not look anything like CNN's exit polls because the CNN exit polls are not that accurate in terms of determining the shares of voters that are non-college educated or college educated because I think last time around they put the non-college whites um, at a lesser percentage than they really are because they included people that had graduated community college into the college educated whites and that's not entirely accurate. So we'll start to fill out these tables here below and it's going to change these states on the map for us. So last time around Trump got roughly 66% of the non-college educated white vote. I think that the trend is going to push that up a little higher. I think he's going to get 68%. It's going to trend red by a couple of points no matter who the nominee is. Obviously, it might stay stagnant with maybe Bernie in certain areas, and the college-educated whites might trend a little bit more Republican, but just based on common knowledge, one would expect that to happen, 68% Republican. So already a couple of states have flipped into his column, and will continue to go through and do the college-educated whites, black voters, Hispanics, Asians, and others, etc., and it's going to see how the map is going to fill out why Donald Trump is going to win. The college-educated white vote is a little tricky. I do think think that the Democrats are going to win this demographic this time around. It's unclear if they won it last time because we do have conflicting data about this. However, I think they're going to win it by six points based off of trends alone and based on the way we have the electorate this time around. I think that they're going to win it something like 51 to 45. And the Republicans gain a lot more states based on this data alone. That doesn't count the fact that they are going to get votes in these other demographics here as well. And we'll get to that in just one second. The black vote is one I think that Republicans are going to gain a little bit on as Trump has a lot of accomplishments to tout for the black community. And that's going to help him marginally last time around. He lost it 88 to 8. This time, I think he's going to lose it 84 to 13. I think he's going to lose it 84 to 13. And this is going to put some more states in his column. As you see here, it's going to solidify some more states. Obviously, if he got 0%, he would not have been able to win Michigan or Wisconsin or Pennsylvania. But that's just basically the way it is. He'll do a little bit better this time around. It's going to be interesting to see. Can Republicans build on that in future elections? That would be something to see because I think that Trump has actually targeted the black community in many ways in an attempt to gain ground from them as a voting bloc. He passed prison reform. He passed HBCU funding. He's done opportunity zones and a few other things there. So that's obviously going to help him quite a bit with the black community, and that's going to be able to get his turnout a little bit higher among black conservatives, and that's going to push him into the double digits as of right now. Now, for Hispanic voters, I definitely think that Trump will make a little bit of inroads here. I definitely think with Democrats supporting things like late-term abortion, that's not going to play over very well with very religious Hispanics. So I definitely think Trump has room to grow among this demographic. I think that Donald Trump is going to get 32%, which is what the Fox News exit polls for the midterm says. I think CNN had it at 29 or 30. So I think he'll improve marginally, and that's going to be enough, I think, for him to solidify Florida and Arizona in his column and maybe have him have a chance to pick off the state of Nevada so we're going to put this in here and he'll get um, he'll get approximately 32. The Democrats are going to get 63 percent and that automatically gives him the state of Florida and Texas and Arizona in his column. So he could lose every vote from Asian or other and still win, although the map would look very weird as Alaska would be blue. That's not the case. 
I definitely think that Asian and other, I think he might do a little bit worse among Asian voters, but I do think he'll do a little bit better among Native American voters. So I do think that he will lose this demographic 61 to 35. Make sure we have the turnout margin right here. So he'll lose it 61 to 35. And this is the prediction that I have for the 2020 election. Donald Trump is going to win. According to this margin, according to this projection, Donald Trump has won 326 to 212. He will have picked off the states of Nevada. He will have picked off the state of Minnesota and the state of New Hampshire while still losing Maine at large, still losing Virginia and Colorado. Now, keep in mind that these trends were a little bit outdated. This was ahead of the 2016 election. They have not programmed it since then. However, I tried to do my best to get the margins for the turnout levels where they would be. I tried to get my margins for the projected electorate where they would be. And as a result, you have this. Donald Trump will beat Hillary. Oh, not Hillary Clinton. That's kind of an outdated thing. Donald Trump will beat the Democrat in the popular vote as well as the Electoral College. And a lot of people are looking at this and they're saying, well, is this entirely what's going to happen? I don't know. Again, he could definitely uh, he could definitely gain ground among college-educated whites. He could definitely maintain stagnant with some other demographics. But as of right now, this is the way I see it happening. And this was how I predicted the 2016 election correctly. I put in the turnout levels. I used every single poll that I could find, and I weighted the demographics between non-college educated whites and college educated whites in the swing matic in all the swing states. I did this in every single poll leading up to the election, and every single poll had gave Trump a 294 to 244 advantage over Hillary Clinton. And this was why I was not too surprised by a Trump victory when it was all said and done. And if he's got accomplishments to tout this time around, he very well well, could be on his way to winning the popular vote and other things like this. He'll win more states. He'll win the popular vote. Maybe he will make inroads in Virginia, but obviously the trends aren't really taken into consideration. I think this has Trump winning Ohio by four. He definitely has a chance to win it by 10 or 11. This has him losing Virginia very little. I do think that he'll lose Virginia by four or five, assuming it's against somebody like Biden. If it's against somebody like Bernie, then he definitely has a chance to take the state. And Trump's campaigning in Arizona, Colorado, potentially maybe he'll do a rally in Nevada before the Nevada caucuses. So it's one of those things that we'll see what happens. I definitely do believe that Donald Trump is going to do very, very well in the presidential election, a lot better than pundits expect him to do. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like this video down below, comment down below, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Follow me on social media, donate to the Patreon, join the Discord, join the subreddit, links in description. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Red Eagle, out.